Hello again and welcome back. Alright, um, so since the last episode nothing has happened. Um, I actually just shut down the game and went to bed. And now I'm thinking before the sun goes down I'd like to make a quick run up here. And uh, maybe catch a wolf or two. A um, little bit more food would be nice, but more importantly, some uh, sinew and um, and uh, leather or wolf pelts. Is it wolf pelts? I can't remember. Pretty sure it's pelts or hides. Anyway, well, well there's a deer. I don't know if these are actually deer or are they some other animal because their heads are more I guess they look like deer the heads seem a little bit large oh uh, I don't know if it's worth chasing them oh he's come to a slow so walk oh man I almost got him Oh, I should eat time, pretty much. <laughs> oh, empty stomach there. Okay, where did he go? Totally wasn't even monitoring my uh, hunger level. Is this the one? Yeah, right. That's the good stuff right there. Alright, so let's head over this way a little bit as we head up the hill. See what we find here, and a wolf would be nice. Seems like you can't really um, pinpoint wolves based on the howling. You almost have to hope and hear a growl, or the there's another sound that they make. I think when you're fairly close. And I've actually got the game volume turned down quite a ways. Which is going to make this a bit more challenging than what I'm accustomed to. Yes, <laughs> I can't really hear much, unfortunately. Because otherwise, if I have the game volume up much higher, it starts to um, become overpowering uh, with uh, doing commentary. So I guess we'll just have to to deal with this. Maybe adjust my headphones a little bit here. I can hear some howling in that direction, but it sounds like it's quite a ways off. Probably not worth um, going after because of how close we are to the to night. So maybe we'll just scoot on this way and see if anything comes up. Now there's a sound that I'm still trying to figure out what it is. I think it's the deer. It's like this sort of horse, not the animal, but H-O-A-R-S-E, uh, sort of breathing. There's a few times, I swear I've heard it and then been in an encounter with a wolf. Which leads me to wonder if it's a wolf sound or is it actually a deer sound I'm just gonna ignore it for now now there's more howling over here for sure now, there's that sound again I think it's a deer it almost sounds like a really weird snoring. Is that a wolf? Straight ahead? See him down there? Or, yeah, that's definitely a wolf. Sweet. I'm glad he was down there in the uh, area where the grass wasn't showing up yet. It makes this much more simple task tracking him. 
Alright, backtrack, and he shouldn't be able to hit me as much, if at all. Just hope I don't run into anything else. Oh, looks like he got me. Nipped my kneecap or something there. Oh. Come on. Come on. They're usually a little bit quicker as far as following goes. Alright, now there was a skeleton over here too. <clears throat> see if we can get over to him. Somewhere in that direction, I believe. Is that him? Yep, yeah, there he is. There sounds like that wolf howling is a bit closer up the hill. Alright. Nice and easy. Patience. No need to uh, go toe to toe with these buggers. It's safe. And no, one more hit, I think. Should do it. There we go. Not too bad. Alright, looks like inventory's full. Let's just go see about this wolf up here. Now, see, I'm definitely hearing deer. It's like oh, that sort of <clears throat> high-pitched whining sort of sound. Maybe I did hear a wolf earlier when I was thinking it was the deer, because it turns out there was a wolf right nearby. Man, now see, now I'm gonna wonder about that sound. <laughs> oh, another skeleton. Come on, friend. Alright. Looks like my uh, heat gauge is going down a bit, so I should probably think about heading back any time now. Oh, it looks like he hit me. Not cool. Um, okay, let's see. What do we get rid of? I think we can, uh, let's just leave the skulls here. And we're gonna be getting plenty of those things, so. Not a big loss. And, um, let's eat one more time here. Heard a howling in this direction. I can hear footsteps over here, barely. Yeah, I definitely. Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay, I thought I heard like a little giggle or something. <laughs> really need like a just a massive crushing blunt weapon for these guys. Just crack their skulls right open. Frostberries? Where did those come from? Did I knock those off of a bush or something? It's kind of weird. Alright. We'll just leave that there. Um, you know what? Let's um, just quickly... Uh, we'll just drop this for a second and put this here and eat eat these berries and where did where did the bone dust go there it is okay good all right let's see if we can find out what the heck that sound is coming from there'll probably be a deer <laughs> Yeah, see, there's the deer. That's that's what I'm thinking it is. And there's a skeleton. I know it's not the skeleton. So the best weapon I think I've made is the oak 
is it the, called the Oak Skull Crusher? Which proved to be quite nice. Um, I've never blacksmithed anything. I th I don't think I have. Oh no, I made a uh, a compass. I think that's the only thing I've made on a forge. So I'm looking forward to actually doing some of that. The problem is that it's some of the recipes really do require a lot of stuff, like especially the ores. And it's easy to mine, it's just so time consuming. Especially if you get on a really bad streak where you're getting the ores you don't need. Alright, now I gotta find my way back here. Uh, hopefully I'm sort of close to the portion of the beach where my stuff is at. Yeah, I think that's it. Straight ahead. Good. That worked out well. Now one thing I would like to do is figure out a very, a rather resource um, cheap way to tra or mark a path inland and uh, make it a little bit easier to to travel, not just in terms of uh, of finding a way back, but maybe even having some spots to stop along the way. Um, so, I mean, f uh, campfires would be an obvious solution to that, but I'm not sure how it would how best um, to mark things as far as the direction to go to get back to wherever the a base camp is set up so um, I was thinking like a lean-to could work and you just maybe have it uh, set up so that the uh, hold on oh shoot I didn't want to do that um, have it set up so the part that is angled down would be pointing maybe point that back to wherever your your base is at or something similar to that anyway so that you take advantage of the orientation of a structure and lean twos are obviously the cheapest ones so it sort of makes sense to use those all right let's go um, gather some wood really quick I think I might keep this as a uh, shorter episode since it is getting close to night. I should probably aim for splitting daylight into two episodes and then... Because I just, during the night, usually wind up just hanging out by my campfire anyway, so... Wouldn't be missing out on much. I don't remember if I mentioned this in episode one or not, but I always... I don't know why, but I've got this inclination to uh, leave the bigger trees alone. So I just like chop down these sort of scrubby looking short ones. The logs you get, the amount of logs you get is the same, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, if you're chopping down small trees. Alright, so i got to build up a nice supply of logs, so I think what I'll do set them down here out of the way oh that's right we're going in that direction now Ugh. Um. <laughs> can we let them roll up to I guess um, I guess this will work for now need something to stop them that ought to do Let's just make sure they don't spin around it somehow. There we go. Alright. Gotta have a nice orderly row. Everything nice and uh, <laughs> organized. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Um, how many sticks did we get? One? Do we have any on the ground? One. Okay. Might as well add those to the house. And I guess I should probably stand here and get warm. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next one, hopefully I will have 
well, okay, so what I'm going to do off camera <clears throat> is just probably chop down some of those scraggly looking trees and hopefully finish the house and then uh, looks like there's some rocks around here so I might might mine a few of those you can hear, see the dragon flying over there I don't know if you saw him pass through right there oh there he goes that's a little scary hopefully he doesn't come through here and sterilize the place with some fire. Um, thought I heard a wolf though. That's why I was watching over there. Okay. But anyway, so I might mine a bit, but definitely cut down trees and finish this house. So hopefully by the next time, uh, next episode that should be set and then we can do some more hunting, start stockpiling food and, um, and some other resources. And then get to doing some exploration of the of the area uh, let's see here let's just do that all right so that's it for now thanks for stopping by let's see if we can get one more kill in here of course not he's gonna go for a swim yep nah all right. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.